Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is David, in case you are new to my channel. In today's video, you may have guessed it already, we are going to be doing Christian DIY. The collaboration Christ is Risen, hosted by Arrows DIY. So there will be a playlist linked down in the description box so you can check out everyone's videos. Some of us are offering our DIYs as a giveaway. More details about that later in the video, now let's get started. So originally, I came up with this great idea to make these three crosses with these nails. I saw it online and was like, I could remake this. I also found another one with three crosses and I just really liked that idea. However, we all know things just don't go according to plan. I was gonna order some Sculpey and I couldn't get my hands on some. I was talking with one of my subscribers, Christine, and you guys. She shared a video with me and it was from Heidi Somble DIY from a couple years ago. She made this amazing tomb and I wanted to recreate that. I will link the original video down below, but I'm gonna do my own version and this is how I came up with it, so let's get into the video. So I was really inspired by these photos that are online. This is said to be Jesus's actual tomb. I was like so intrigued, I had to try my best to recreate this. So I'm starting with a small cardboard box. And I'm just going to use my scissors and cut out an area where it would, like the hole would be. And you can do your square or round. I went with more of a round so that if you're rolling like the round stone, it would cover the roundness. I don't know, that's just kind of what I thought in my mind when I was making this. And for the actual stone door, I'm using this little lid I got off a little box I bought from Dollar Tree. And for a foundation, I'm gonna be using a Dollar Tree canvas and just glue everything down to that. So it has like a little platform for everything to be set on. So I'm just using my hot glue gun and I'm gluing the box together so that it doesn't come apart. And I did this on both sides. So once my box was glued together, it should look something like this. Now my canvas, I'm just gonna go ahead and center my box where I want it. Put glue all over the bottom side of the box, which is gonna be where that cut is closest to the bottom. I hope that makes sense. Go ahead and hot glue it to the canvas. Give it a few seconds to dry and it should look something like this. So I had some spackle on hand and this is what Heidi used in her video. I didn't have enough to cover my box. I tried using it to fill in these little like spaces, but I only got so far with it. I didn't want to go and buy more spackle from Dollar Tree. So I end up finding this stuff called Durham's Rock Hard Water Putty and all you do is mix this powder with water and this is what it looks like. So I just covered the box even in the inside. I'm gonna let it dry. I might do another layer, it just really depends. I even did that little circle thingy and that's gonna serve as like the doorway for the tomb. And then I have some of these tower blocks. I'm gonna go ahead and coat these in some of the putty as well. But first I kind of wanted to arrange them in like this bricklay pattern. This is kind of like what's gonna be in front of the tomb. If you look up the picture of the tomb, it's gonna be more like this where it's like blocked off. Some of the pieces are going to be kind of hanging just a little bit off. They're going to look like stone anyway. And then my little door is going to go right here on this side, off to the side, like it's opened and you can see inside the tomb. And then I'm going to texture it, paint it and all that. So this is what it's looking like so far. Don't mind my crappy door. You guys look at the bird. I don't know if he can see me. Oh, he flew away. Oh, it was so pretty. It was like this pretty coat. Like, I don't know how to explain. Like a reddish orange head. Oh, man. He probably saw me through the little holes. But this is all tinted. It looks horrible. <laughs> oh, I wanted to show you the bird. He flew away. I wanted to take this time and let you know I will be offering my DIY as a giveaway. So if you want to enter in a chance to win, go ahead and comment down below. He is risen and you'll be entered for a chance to win. Good luck. So off camera, I just coated these with that same like putty stuff that I was talking about. So I'm just 
taking them off the paper towel. So I tried painting them individually, but every time I stroked over with the paint, it would take off the wood putty. So this piece, I also have to go through and paint it. In this general area, I want to glue this piece down like right there. So I'm going to put some glue on the canvas as well as the back of it. Now is the fun part where I get to go through and paint the entire piece. I started with this taupe color, but I figured I'm actually going to need to go over this with a darker color first, then go over everything with a lighter color so that that dark gets down in those nooks and crannies first. So I didn't coat the whole thing with black. I started mixing in brown and getting lighter and lighter as I went. You can see I'm just taking a different color and I'm smearing it wherever I didn't add black. This is adding dimension in the piece so it looks like stone. I'm gonna go over all of this with a lighter color too. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start gluing. I wanna glue down these little pieces that kinda go in the front of this. So I know like a piece is gonna go over here. And I'll just glue that down right here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of this. You probably won't be able to see very well. So again, I'm just doing a bricklay pattern, just something simple right here. And then my very last one, I wanted to be kind of angled so it looked like it was being pushed off or something like that. So I'm just gonna go through and paint everything. Now I wanna use gray, plop it on and cover everything. See when I just go over this, you can see all that texture wow. that I mentioned that just pops through and it looks like stone. But we're gonna keep going lighter and lighter until I'm happy with the color. Yay! If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you would like to see some more inspiration on home decor and DIYs. So I know for this, I kind of want it to look like sand. So I'm going to do more of a neutral brown and a little bit of yellow. Oops. So just this kind of like sand color is what I want to do this. And it it's okay to mix in the black how it looks like that. Adds a little bit more like dirt or something. That's going to be the base color though. If I dab it on, it might look more like sand. Brush this on the top too, like the sand had just, it blew up here on the top. My favorite part is like going over this, like look at that. Looks so pretty. I might go even lighter, I just don't know yet, but this oh is looking no. really good. Oh no, my table. <laughs> just the paint job. It's and ruined. At this. I think it's beautiful. I'm gonna add in some moss, probably down in here just a little bit on the sides, a little bit on the top, and then on the back as well to really disguise this little gap area. So I'm gonna like let this dry and then go back through and glue some moss in places. Color's not bad. I might go even a little bit lighter. So we'll see. I'm gonna let this dry fully before messing with it even more. I'm just gonna go through with this matte barn wood color by Folk Art. I just bought it from Hobby Lobby. I'm not even sure how the color's gonna look. That's a really pretty tone. And then just like lightly go over it like this. Like dry brush it on. But I don't want this like a solid looking color. So I'm going to also mix in a little bit of gray and just put that to the side and then just like fade that in. Oh my gosh, that is pretty. Now I just want to add in this moss. I'm going to hot glue it down. However, 
I don't like how big the moss looks, so I want to cut this up and crumble it into like little pieces. I'm almost wondering if I should use a different type of glue as well. It's like I've never done this, so let's just bear with me here. I'm going to put some of this moss in the bowl, crunch it up into little teeny pieces. And then I was thinking just adding in some glue. Guess so we'll find out. As you can see, it's not sticking very well. It just keeps flaking off. So I would just dip my brush in the glue first, put the glue onto the piece, and then get some of the moss and put it into the glue. And that seemed to work a little bit better. Once I was done with that part of the moss, I then went ahead and used some hot glue and I just put it in the backside of that lid, basically to hide or disguise that it's not a lid and it's just a little stone piece, stone door. You could take it up one more notch and add in real rocks and real sand and kind of experiment, but I am going to stop here and show you guys the final results. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Don't forget, if you would like to win this as a prize in the mail, go ahead and leave that comment. He is risen down below in the comment box. And while you're at it, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, encourage them to stay in touch with the gospel, and don't forget that playlist is linked down below so you can watch everyone else's video and see what they created for this challenge. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!